Roguelikes come in all shapes and sizes. Deck builders, platformers, top-down shooters, even chess, slot machines, and pachinko, and roguelikes have dominated the 2020s with hundreds of games releasing every year, which makes it really hard to keep track of all of the best ones, and many titles can slip through those popularity cracks. That's why today we're taking a look at the best roguelikes you've never heard of, a list of six roguelikes with less than 500 very positive reviews on Steam. The best roguelikes without a huge audience. All of these games are little hidden gems that are well worth a look, and that's exactly what we're here to do. Just like our recent overwhelmingly positive deck building roguelikes video that we did recently on the channel, for the next six days I'll be playing a dedicated episode of each of the games in this video on my channel, so if you want to see more of them, you know what to do. Without further ado, let's hop in. First up we have Asterogues, a game that I am not joking you, is arguably the best top-down shooter bullet hell roguelike to release since The Binding of Isaac Repentance. And I know that that is a really bold claim, but this game is genuinely a hidden gem in the genre. At its core, you're traversing the terrain, collecting upgrades that make you stronger, kind of your normal top-down shooter roguelike format, but what sets Asterogues far apart from other top-down shooters is its extremely unique character design. You play as little celestial dudes that each have their own unique ability. The main character, the first that you unlock, Pluto, has an ability that allows you to control enemy bullets to orbit around you, and then you line those bullets up to shoot them back at the enemies. It's so satisfying to use, and it just fits perfectly well in the combat system and the game design because it makes you feel overpowered against the enemies, so the game scales the enemies up to be just as overpowered as you. Soon, the screen is covered in bullets, you're fighting for your life, and it just feels great. And that's only one of the characters. Each one has its own special mechanic that makes the game feel completely different with each character you play. Give this one a look, because I I'm really not joking. It's one of the best top-down shooters in the genre. Mimic Logic is a game that you wouldn't think would be possible, but it is executed to near perfection. This is a logic puzzle roguelike. Yup, you heard me. You'll be dungeon crawling through the game, facing chests that tell you some truth and some lies, and you have to use logical deduction to determine which ones are mimics or liars. The speed in which you figure out the puzzles allows you to then maximize the RPG elements of the game. Your hunger, your stats, and your damage that you're gonna have to balance to defeat enemies in between floors of the puzzly goodness. Don't move too fast though, because if you make a singular mistake and click the wrong mimic, you'll find yourself back at the main menu ready for another run. It's mastered something that no other puzzle roguelikes have mastered, and that's perfectly blending both the puzzle and the RPG roguelike mechanics. You need to complete the logic puzzles, but then you're tasked with the resource management roguelike puzzle of the dungeon. And there's tons of content here too, you unlock new game modes, new puzzles, there's numerous reviewers on the Steam page with 70 plus hours in the game, and it's got 98% positive reviews. It's just a unique little gem that won't be for everybody, but I found it to be incredibly charming and a very satisfying little game. And it's $4. You're not breaking the bank too hard to pick it up. Check it out. Keeping with some of the wackier themes here, Foot Gun Underground is a platforming football slash soccer roguelike. I know, I know, can we just have a normal game? No, only, only wacky hidden gems allowed in my videos. Foot Gun Underground has you dodging and weaving, kicking a ball around to kill your enemies, and then upgrading your balls with new mechanics and new features. There's tons of different balls to play around with, no, no euphemisms <laughs> intended in, in this one. And the upgrades you collect can be moved around these balls and experimented with to maximize your damage output. One of the things that I really love about Foot Gun Underground are these unique little challenge rooms in the game. Little, little mini games that task you to destroy all the targets in the room, or there's little pinatas you have to destroy. And having these unique rooms along the way helps to increase the longevity of the game and provide the variety that a roguelike needs. 
Not to mention the vast array of characters, items, fleshed out biomes that feel different when you're in them. It's a bite-sized roguelike with a ton of replayability. I'm not denying, it's definitely a wonky game that is hard to control, but that's a huge part of what makes it so fun to play. Check it out. Searching for Rest is a game that looks so simplistic the first time that you play it. It's a Luckbeal Landlord style slot machine roguelike where each turn the graves in your graveyard are randomized with loot, and your only mission is to click graves looking for pairs of boots. Collect enough boots and you win the run. But there's enemies in the graves that can kill you, there's dirt in the graves that just doesn't do anything, and you don't really have any control over what gets added to your graveyard, or seemingly any control over what you click. It's just random clicking until you find what you need to survive. So why is this a hidden gem? Why did I choose to talk about this one instead of hundreds of other roguelike games? It's just because it's fun. There's something extremely charming about this little push your luck game, and the gameplay it presents is secretly much deeper than what it looks on the surface. There's ways to manipulate the odds of you pulling boots. There's upgrades to your damage that allows you to tackle the random enemies a little bit better. There's builds to abuse that give you free searches in your graveyard, giving you these lanterns that light up the graveyard and tell you what you're going to click. And once you get that quick win, and I'm serious, the runs are like 15 minutes long, you unlock a bunch of new content that allows you to hop back into the game again and have a completely different experience. It's the rare game that kind of continues to drip feed you the new content to make the game more and more complex every time you play. And what felt like a simple guessing game at the beginning that's just pure luck to play turns into this really strategic and innovative auto-battling roguelike. It's the perfect one more run game since the runs are so quick and each run offers those little dopamine rushes that leave you craving coming back for more. For $6, it's a total gem. Check this one out. Keeping with the small scale pixel art roguelikes that look super simplistic on the surface and then slowly expand into fascinating complex roguelikes, it's time to take a look at Talented. This blend of tower defense and survivor games has you gaining all of the dopamine and fun of navigating the huge tech tree of survivor games without any of the meta progression that comes with them. Each run of Talented creates a new, randomly generated tech tree that you'll be progressing through as you kill enemies in each wave. You get that repeated rush of small upgrades that slowly improve your character, but the upgrades are only confined to the run that you're playing, which for someone like me who does not care for stat-based meta progression is a really huge win for this genre. In the tech tree are also a chunk of randomized items, some active, some passive, that change the way the character plays and how your build will be created. There's a ton of strategy in forming your build paired with simplistic and really easy to play combat. One of the other huge benefits of the game is each character plays drastically differently, and there's unique challenges with unlocks for each of them, so you'll be slowly unlocking new mechanics that are slowly drip-fed throughout the game. It's still getting monthly updates, it's only $4, what are you waiting for? Go play this. And finally, I present to you the most hidden gem, and one of the strangest little games that I have ever played, Cube Chaos. Now don't judge this book by its cover. If you're looking for one of the deepest, most replayable roguelikes of all time, look no further. This is a real-time strategy game where you are competing against an AI player where the goal is to take out their core. Your core exists on the left side of the screen and the AI is trying to take it out, theirs exists on the right. You do this by placing units, and casting spells, and building blocks to essentially create this monstrous offensive and defensive war machine that synergizes all of your abilities together. Maybe on this run you have ants that constantly barrage the enemy while you shoot laser beams from the sky. Maybe the next one you build a giant wall and launch rocks over it at the enemy. Maybe you just simply walk in and kill them with a super tanky unit. 
I'm not exaggerating. There's over 500 different units and over 800 different perks to create builds with, and half of the synergies that you'll find in the game are things that the dev never even saw, never even intended. It's just a game that lets you mess around, do stupid things that will leave you scratching your head going, how did I just win that? What did I even do to win that? And with over 10 classes and 8 different species that you can pair together, it just simply makes an infinitely replayable game. It's a brain burner, it's a chaotic little game, but that's Cube Chaos. I've never played anything like it, and I can't wait to play it later this week. So there you have it, six incredible underrated roguelike gems for you to check out. Throughout the week, we'll be playing each of these, so come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day if you want to see more. Maybe it's a good time to like the video and subscribe, maybe ring that bell. I got another four of this exact video mapped out with more hidden gem, very positive roguelikes, under 500 reviews. So if you keep your eyes peeled, we might be back soon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.